The Spirit, one God, Amen. Today the Gospel talked about that the Lord, He was invited in a house, and the house was totally filled. And the poor men, they loved their friend. They took him, they decided to take him to the Lord Christ. When they arrived to the house, the house was totally filled. So they decided, they thought about it, they decided to go into the roof, they uncovered the roof and dropped the person, the paralyzed person in front of the Lord Christ. And the Lord Christ, he healed him. And as we look into the action of the four, we find they walk, the second mile. They walk the second mile. They could say the house is totally filled with the people and it's crowded. We brought him, we walked all the distance, and you know the house is filled and the crowded. We cannot go into the house. And I would imagine that paralyzed man, he would be thankful for them that they carried him from his house all the way and the road to this house, he would understand that the house is busy. But they carried him and they walked into the house, uh, they, 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 they took him into the roof and uncovered the roof. They put an extra offer, effort. What's the second mile mean? The second mile means an extra effort you put to the people. The extra love you give to the people. The normal people, they usually do the first mile. You deal with me good, I deal with you good. You offer me a service, I offer to you back a service. The same way. This is what we call it the first mile. But the second mile is you, you give more. You offer more. You do more for the others. You do more for the other. The Lord, he said about the Good Samaritan, he said the parable about the Good Samaritan. He said there was a man, a Jewish man, he was coming down from Jerusalem to Jericho. And the seeds, they, uh, they attacked him and took his money, they lifted him wounded. And a priest pa passed by this wounded man and he passed, he didn't do anything. Then a Levi, a Levi is kind of like a deacon. He passed also and he didn't do any things. But the good Samaritan, the Samaritan man, he was a stranger. He was, should be an enemy to this person. He started to, uh, he, he came and he, uh, he bandaged his wound and he put an oil. And that's what we call it the first mile. The first mile. He bandaged, he put oil and bandaged his wound. Then he started to carry him and he put him in his donkey. And he took him to the hotel and he paid two denarii. This is the second mile. If he just bandage his wound and make him to stand up, that's enough. That's enough. That's the normal people they do. But he took him into the hotel and he stayed with him overnight. It said in the morning he gave to the honor and he said, here's two denarii. I give it to you. Am I the person who walked the second mile? Or am I the person I just treat the people as they treat me? Whatever they offer me, I'm going to offer them back. Not extra, not less. Am I that person or not? Am I that person when I, um, when I, I invite it to the service, I do the service, whatever Abuna or the church told me to do it. I come and I do it exactly, then I leave. Or am I that person who does more? If somebody asks you for the service, you just do the service, I did the lessons and everything, then I'm done with the service, then I go. Or am I the person who asks and follow up with my kids in the Sunday school? Am I that person, if somebody's sick, I just ask about him, yeah, I called him and he's okay, he, she is okay, and I, uh, I just uh, talk to them and everything, or am I that person who sacrifices my time to serve others? Walk the second mile. Walk the second mile. St. Mary, when the angel appeared to her, Archangel Gabriel, 
he told her about Elizabeth, her cousin. And he told her that Elizabeth, your cousin, is pregnant. The angel didn't tell her anything, just, just, just told her that she's pregnant. And we find that St. Mary, right away, she ran into Elizabeth. Elizabeth, an old lady, but she's a wife of a high priest. So she has some people to serve her, but she ran to serve her. And when she came into her house, not only just to say hi, congratulations, and stayed with her a couple of days, no, but she stayed three months, my friend, to serve her until she delivered the baby. Second mile, to stay next to the person who in need as much as you can. This is what we call it the second mile. Also, we find that Abraham, when he told al Azar at Damascus, he told him, go and find a wife for Isaac, my son. So, Lazar al Damascus, he went to his uh, Abraham land and he found Rebekah. And all what he asked, he said, give me water from your pot. And we find that the answer from Rebecca is so amazed. She said, here is the water, and I'm going to give you water to your camels too. Extra. I'm going to do extra. Do you do extra to the people or not? Always, God, he look into your heart. Look into your heart. Am I the person who always give extra when the people, extra effort to help the people, extra love? Or I'm dealing the same way. I'm dealing, and sometimes we deal with less expectations. Sometimes we deal with less expectations. In the Sermon of the Mountain, the Lord, he said, You have heard that is said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for the tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. But whoever will slap you on your right cheek, turn the other cheek to him. If anyone to sue you and take away your tonic, let him take the clock also. And whoever force you to go one mile, go with him two mile. Give to him who ask you and from him who want to borrow from you. You do not turn away. You have heard it is said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemy. Bless those who curse you and do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. So the indication that you are the son or daughter of God is you do better. I walk to the second mile. If you want to be the son of your Father in heaven or daughter of your son, daughter of your, your Father in heaven, you need to walk the second mile. You need to walk the second mile. Then he said, For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and he sent the rain on the just and unjust. Have you seen that God, when he has a sun, it show only on the righteous people, and he prevented from those people, he curse, they curse him or they deny his existence? No, he give. He give love to everyone, and he give exceedingly, abundantly to everyone. For if you love those who love you, what reward you have? Do not even the tax collector do the same. And if you greet your brother and only, what do you more? What do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors and sinners do that. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven perfect. So that's meaning that if I deal with the person the same way he deal me or she deal with me, I am kind of like a tax collector and a sinner. This is the normal people. This is the normal people. So what I should do, I should walk to the second mile. I should offer more. When someone slap you, and he doesn't mean like slap you, slap in your face. When somebody give you a hard time, what you do usually? Or if someone talk about you bad, or some you, someone tell you a harsh word, your wife or your husband give you a harsh word and start to speak bad to you, 
you could pick any of the four choices. The first choice is you answer more harsh word than what he or she said. Well, she said this word, I'm going to give her a hundred times a harsh word worse than what she said or what he said. Or the second one, the second approach, I'm going to do the same way as that person does. I'm going to reply with the same things. I'm going to deal with him in the same way. The third approach, I'm going to be silent. I'm not going to do any things. I'm just going to be silent. And by the way, all those not acceptable in front of the Lord. But what he said, turn the other cheek. That's meaning bearing more. So you need to help the others and carry their pain, carry their anger. Am I the person who does that or not? The Lord, my friend, he always look for the heart. And you see, where is your heart exactly? We cannot deceive the Lord, by the way. The Lord cannot be deceived. He look into every one of us heart and see what's your reaction to the problem. Are you the one who is angry and reply with the same way? Or you walk to the second mile? You walk to the second mile. They said the story about Habib Gerges that his brother, he, uh, a person, he didn't like him. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, his brother, a person doesn't like his brother and he started to give him a hard time. So Habib Gerges, he told him, I'm going to actually cut his tongue. So, because Habib Gerges, he was a big position at that time. So his brother was so happy. And then Habib Gerges, he started to send a gift to that person who treating so bad, who treating so bad, uh, uh, Habib Gerges' brother. And then when the person, he saw this one, he said, how come I treated his brother so bad and he gave me gift? So he start, when, when his brother met with the, the person the next day, he said, he started to treat him good. So his brother went to Habib Gerges and said, what did you do for him? He said, I treated him good. I give him some gift. Am I that person who does this or not? Am I that person who does this or not? As I said, God, he looked to the loving heart. The Lord Christ himself, he did this. The people persecuted him. They crucified him. And on the cross, he said, forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. Do you forgive? Do you offer more chances to the people? Or I give him first a chance, second a chance, third a chance? No, I'm not going to give him any more chance. If you want to be the son of God, you have to, to do the same as Christ. Sometimes I tell to the, the people, you have to give another chance. They said, no, no, give him, Abuna, so many chances, or give her another ch so many chances. I said, but Christ, he always give you a chance. He said, but this is Christ. I said, but you are the son and the daughter of Christ. You should be an image of him. You should be, because the normal people, they do the same thing. They do the same thing. When you walk the second mile, you will find blessing in your life. As I said, God, he look into search in the heart. You see what's your heart exactly. When you walk in the second mile, you find blessings come into your heart. An example of this one is Joseph. Joseph, his brother, hated him. And they throw him in a, in a well. They want to get rid of him. And I'm sure that Joseph, he was crying so much for, bro for his brother to take him out. He was young. He was a young child. He was crying for them to take them out from the well. I'm looking at his eye uh, and crying. And his brother was very hard, hardened, hardened heart. And then they found a people coming, Ismailis. They, they walking, so they said, no, no, we don't kill him, we just sell him to those people. And they sold him, and I'm sure that his brother affected him in his, in his life. Joseph is impacted by the action of his brother. But the amazing things, my friend, we see that Joseph, later on when he become the second man of Egypt, we find that Joseph, when his brother, 
They came to him because there is a famine in their land, and they came for the food, and he knows them. He didn't treat them the same way. He didn't treat them the same way. He could actually put them in a prison, the same as they did with him. He could do that. Or at least he can give them one-time food. You know what? I give them one time. They treated with me bad. At least I give them one time of the food. And that's it. But Joseph, he walked the second mile. He told them, no, no, no. Come and bring my dad. And let's live here and be married. And he found a land. That's the second mile. I'm treating with the people, those who persecuted me, with good things. Show them the love of Christ, an image of Christ. Ruth, another example of walking on a second mile. You know, Ruth, she was a, daughter, she was a wife of Naomi's son. Naomi, she has two sons. And she went to the other land than her land and her two sons married to one to Ruth, and the other one is called Orva. And her two sons died. And Ruth, the wife of her son, she told Naomi, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to help you. You are an old lady. I'm going to help you. She said, no, daughter, I don't have any more sons. And my sons are died. Go and marry. She said, no, no, no. I'm going to go with you. Or, but she said the same thing. But she didn't go with her. But Ruth, she went. She offered the second mile. She went to serve her. And look at, at what God, he see her heart. She become the grandmother of David. And she's a grandmother of the Lord Christ. He always look into the heart. He always. And reward everyone. When you give, don't forget. Don't, don't, yani, let the Satan tell you, oh, you give too much. No, give, because he's looking into your heart. When you offer to the church your tithes, do you offer just the tithes? Some people, they offer less than the tithes. Some people, they don't offer the tithes at all. Some people, just the, the tithes. Some people, they offer. They walk to the second miles and offer more. Am I the person who offer more? Or am I the person who is sheep? I just calculated. Some people, they said, I give a hundred dollars point nine five cents because this is my tithe. Don't be sheep. Give more. Walk the second mile. Give more. Give more to the people around you and everywhere. Do not be sheep with the others. And the Lord, he will reward you. Today is the Father Day. I'm asking the Father, do you walk the second mile or you don't walk the second mile? Second mile, as I said, is extra effort, extra love. Well, but my son is, is giving me a hard time. I need to show him more love. My daughter, she's giving me a hard time. Give her more love. She needs more love. And that's what Christ, he does. Always show us love. Always send us a message of love. Am I the good father like my father in heaven? Or am I a different, harsh person, a selfish guy? We learn from Christ because he gives his son into the sinners and, and, and unrighteous people. We need, my friend, today we decide to go to walk in the second miles. Try to do good things with the others, to whom is the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> Oh, yeah.